When you look around the storeroom, freezer, and refrigerator, what do you see? Food and supplies or stacks of money? It's a good idea to think about how much money all the food and supplies on the shelves represent. If this money were in a bank, it would be earning interest. But products on your shelves aren't earning anything. They only represent money that isn't available for use in other areas of your operation. In good inventory management practice, the goal is to limit inventory in order to avoid tying up operating funds. In my kitchens, I try to keep my inventory low, but not understocked, because in doing that, we keep our uh, supply costs down and our storage and handling costs are down. Good management of, of the inventory is having what you need, but not stockpiling. Determining just how much inventory you need to keep on hand is not as tricky as it might seem. In a food service operation, the maximum amount of stock or inventory should be the number of serving days between deliveries, plus one or two days safety cushion. If you serve five days a week and receive deliveries once a week, you should have no more than seven days of inventory at any time. If you receive deliveries just twice a month, you would need no more than 12 days of inventory at one time. So the more frequently you receive deliveries, the less inventory you need to keep on hand. The number of days of inventory you have on hand determines your inventory turnover rate. So controlling your inventory will improve your turnover rate. Most organizations have a recommended inventory turnover rate. Your supervisor or director can help you calculate what yours should be.